Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cheers SA. I'm Jane Oshwager and normally I would be joined by co-host Steve Jacquier, but gone again. Absolutely missing in action, the man. So I have called in a favour. Tommy Javor joins us. Thank you very much, Tommy, for uh, stepping on in. Jane, it is a pleasure to be here on the number one show in the Piranha Media <laughs> Network. Right. That's right. That's right. And uh, of course, Steve has been stood down. Steve at the Balaclava Cup today. The producers made the executive decision it might be a good idea not to have Steve in this <laughs> evening. Uh, Most of the time, it's not a good idea to have yes. Steve in, but we, uh, especially so after he's been at the races. Now, so. Jane, I think you can attest there's been no other employee of Piranha Media that hangs around for the free samples more than me. <laughs> and, we, right. and we have tried some wonderful wines over the last five or six weeks mm. and some gin. And now I come on the set and all of a sudden we've got some fantastic <laughs> South Australian beers. I'm living the dream. Well, I, I, I thought that we'd dial in the beers tonight, yes. especially for you being at, uh, we're actually at the Alma Tavern tonight. So thank you to those uh, that are supporting us, the Alma Tavern, uh, having us here tonight on location. And uh, yeah, what beer are you tucking into? Um, my beer is brewed just down there on, I believe it's on Regency Road. It's a Cooper's Pale Ale. Uh, Not the first time I've tried one of these. Um, a, a real nice nice beer, a real party starter if you like, and a beer that I've found that I can sustainably drink responsibly over a six hour period. <laughs> Good to hear. I've gone for the Pirate Life Pale Ale. So, uh, How's it going down? Local craft. Look, uh, first first mouthful, pretty refreshing. Hmm. I do like it. do yep. like a beer occasionally. Nice clear beer, and um, I think later on you'll see me if I get through this one, I might move on to a bit of a stout, a nice Southwark stout. So. Wow. Tell you what, we only got a 15 minute show, so we've been... <laughs> Get I'll, I'll get through them, Jane. Anyone that knows me out there knows I'll make the most of this opportunity. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, uh, some of you may have recognised Tommy, obviously, from the Racing, Chasing, Pacing show that he co-hosts uh, with Aaron Bain. Um, how is that show coming along? Are you getting a few wins on the board these days? Yeah, uh, well, I had a real hot trot a while back. Four weeks in a row, had wins, and the last two weeks uh, have actually come up with donuts. And a few of the public have let us know about it, so we'll be touching on that in tonight's show. Good. Some great feedback. We appreciate all our viewers and all our shows because without the viewers, we wouldn't be here. Definitely um, not. Definitely not. And uh, another thing that you've got yourself mixed up in is. Hmm. Coaching a netball team. Yes, I'm coaching the year three, four netball team at my daughter's school that she'll be attending next year. And I have a wonderful coach's mentor in the great Jane Altsweiger. <laughs> Is that it correctly? It's, it's hard to say. That'll do. Uh, Whatever. First, first training last Thursday. Had our yeah. first game on Saturday. Yeah. And? 13 nil defeat. But the girls had a lot of fun and we can only improve. And... Uh, yeah, the car, I don't think we're jobbing too much trouble. We're not talking flags, but gee, the girls had a good time. And thank you for all your support in that. And yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get a goal soon. And yeah. So, well, you're going to have to lift training up a little bit more from Duck, Duck, Goose. Um, <laughs> there was a, a bit of ping in the middle. There certainly was. Um, one thing I did last week, Jane, and I know it's cheers, I say when we get sidetracked too much, is I practiced a lot of shooting. May have been a little ambitious. <laughs> That's right. You've actually got to get it into the circle yep. before the shot's required. Working but... on a bit of defense and pivoting this week. So. <laughs> good, to, yeah. good to hear. Well, Look, we've got an awesome show lined up. Um, Carol yes. is, uh, is joining us yes. from um, Slow, Tours, Slow SA. Tours SA. Very excited about this because yep. it just encapsulates everything that we're trying to do with Cheers SA, yep. um, which is drinking and touring. Exactly right. And some beautiful places. I mean, Carol will tell us all about it. One of my favourite holiday destinations is just down the road from where I work, the Barossa Valley, and, yep. and, and Carol has tours there. And I've, I noticed the Murray as well. well. That's where I do a lot of my uh, my riverboat action. So two wonderful places that Carol hosts tours. So I can't wait to hear about it. It'll be great. We'll be back in a tick and we'll, uh, we'll catch up with Carol. Welcome back to Cheers SA. We are on location at the Alma Tavern and I'm joined by Tommy Javor, who is stepping in for uh, Steve Jackweir today, who is at the races. So lucky to see, but even lucky to us because we're actually joined by Carol Haslam. Carol, from Slow to us, thank you very much for, uh, for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me here and thank you for my South Australian wine. Do what we can. <laughs> Just on that, uh, you are drinking a Sure and Smith, a Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, how, how is it going down, Carol? Uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. It's going down really well, thank you. <laughs> no worries, and uh, just for our viewers watching at home, I've moved on to the Southwark Stout. Just a, a nice, creamy, smooth stout going down just a treat. <laughs> I, I'm still on the first drink because I don't guzzle mine. <laughs> oh, oh. Thanks very much, Tommy. <laughs> That's right, you're on your first glass. No, I won't guzzle either. <laughs> so, Carol, Slow Tours, um, you are the director of Slow Tours. Yes. Tell us about 
how Slew Tours came about? I was living in France. I lived in France for about six years. Yep. And when you live in France, all your Australian friends come to visit. Mm. And I took stock of what they liked and what they didn't like. I'd take them out for two or three days and they hated the big buses. They didn't like the big cruise ships. They didn't want to hire a car, but they loved it when I took them out. Mm. And after a whole bunch of them came, they per persuaded me to, when I came back to Australia, to open up as a tour operator. Okay. I mean, that's, that's it, right. Thir 13 years ago. It, purely yes. because I know when I go on tours myself or uh, or overseas that you, you really want to get amongst the locals and the culture with it. Is that where it stems from as well? Absolutely. It's also you don't want to sit in a bus all day going too many distance, too long a distance, yes. and you don't want to go one night and not be able to unpack your suitcase. You want to stay there and yeah. settle and, yes. as you say, get to know the locals yeah. a little bit. A bit of local cultural immersion. So you've been doing it for 13 years now, and what I picked up on from meeting you earlier is, would it be fair to say you absolutely love what you do? Oh, yes. That's, and my great father said to me, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Absolutely so, right. And yeah. I'm sure that comes across in the tours. So. It does. It's a passion. And if you don't have the passion, you shouldn't be doing it. Exactly um, right. And, and that stopped this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly right. What a situation we find ourselves in. That yes. You are running a company um, you know, predominantly based on running um, tours in Europe. And you've had to totally change around your, your business dynamic to then set up more tours yes. based in Australia. And then even more so based in South Australia. Uh, all of that, yes. <laughs> Are you okay? It's, it's, called, it's called pivoting. Yes. We have a couple of new words in the vocabulary these days. One is unprecedented and the other is pivot. That's right. And we've uh, certainly pivoted in these unprecedented times. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really keen. You, uh, you were telling us about a tour that you, you had just recently yes. released, a yes. 10-day tour that covers across the uh, Flinders Ranges, Clare Valley and Barossa Valley. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful tour goes up through the Clare Valley, a couple of days. We're working with partners. We're working with a partner that does the bus and the driver, another partner that does a uh, viticulturalist that does the wine visits. A fabulous program for two days. Then we go up to this lovely little place called Port Augusta, which <laughs> 30 years ago you might not be so interested right. in, but I can tell you right now it's really worth revisiting and a fantastic wow. background of uh, all the history of the Flinders Ranges which is a great um, uh, place to go before you go to the Flinders. And then we have three days of wonderful tours around the Flinders, coming back down through a little bit of the historical mid-north uh, with a couple of quick stops on our way to the Brossa Valley for some sumptuous meals, fantastic wines, beautiful experiences yep. before we actually drop you back home. And it's not just about the wine, is it? It is about the food as well and, and tasting and sampling all of the wonderful food. No, 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 it's all about the wine. <laughs> <laughs> The, the notes do say that there's food included. We are going to feed them with the wine. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, you're right. You've got a bit of bread and a cracker. Karen, stitch me up there. I like that. Excellent. Definitely some great locations, though, that you're uh, that you're crossing in that ten days. I've, I've just noted a few. I, I scanned your ten day tour, the itinerary. Yeah. Lunch at Pike's Restaurant, um, the Clare Valley Riesling Trail, um, Arid Lands Botanic Gardens, Red Cliffs, the, the Pitchy Ritchie Steam Train, Wilpena Pound, Prairie Hotel. I just I keep going on. You, you visit Maggie Beer. She may or may not be in. Um, <laughs> Seppersfield Jam Factory, Fino Restaurant. Um, and as we said, just stopping at, at numerous wineries, um, taste testing their local produce all along the way. Yes, it's actually not rushed. It might sound as though it's a lot. <laughs> I know, I believe that. Yes, yes but, it is yeah. a slow tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what sort of um, age or, or demographic or person would be most suited to your tours? Um, do you know, that's really hard to say. Mm. Certainly in Europe, our, our demographic is people 55 plus. They've got the time, they've got the money, they're semi-retired or retired and they love to travel. Uh, we are in the early stages of discovering this new world of ours mm. in Australia yes. and certainly South Australia. Um, we have a lot of single, particularly ladies, a few single men, but people who are over 55 who don't want to, they want to travel, but they don't want to travel on their own yes. and yep. they don't want to drive themselves. And we have a lot of couples who perhaps argue when one's driving and the other's <laughs> navigating. <laughs> that yes. might, be, no. might not believe that. <laughs> Um, and so they like to go on a tour because it takes all the pain away. And then, of course, if you add the wine and the food, 
who <laughs> wants to drive when you've had a yeah. really lovely meal and you just want to be taken home mm. uh, or back to your hotel. Ten so, days of designated driver in itself sounds appealing to me. Absolutely, so. <laughs> yes. That's fantastic. Now, you've had some recent developments within the business. Um, obviously, the, this tour <laughs> is, is the main development. The, it's one the, of them. Yeah. We've developed partnerships with a lot of South Australian companies. We have over 20 tours now yes. on our Asian Australia Pacific website. Um, as opposed to we've got about 600 in Europe. But wow. those have sort of taken a bit of a back seat while mm -hmm. we build this new part of our business, mm -hmm. which will be there for all our overseas visitors when the gates are open again. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we pivoted there. Now, I guess Carol, now I'm just going to stress, it's Carol Haslam, not Carol Baskin, okay? So <laughs> just wanted to spell that rumour. Um, my mum is just turned 71, uh, widow. Um, she would love to do something like this. So what's the best way for her to reach out to you? Website, phone call, both? Both, yep. yeah, or an email. Yep. Um, we do a lot of uh, promotions on social media, Yes. Um, but maybe she's just not on Facebook. Facebook used to be for the young, but it's sort of like the yep. 55 plus now, are big users of Facebook. Oh. Um, but if not... The... <laughs> and so if, if, yes. if anyone that Googles Slow Tours SA, there'll be links to, to all just of Slow your... Tours. Slow yep, tours? We'll be yeah. right up there on Google. Yep. Yep. Um, slow but good. Slow but good. <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Um, or she can ring me. Excellent. Uh, I do. I answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that personal service that's oh, so yes. often lacking these days. It's great <laughs> to hear. We, we yeah. do have, you know, we do have others, but I still pick up the phone. I'm still <laughs> number one picking up the phone. Excellent. <laughs> so this 10-day uh, tour, you've got one kicking off on the 9th of September. Um... No, we we can't do that one. Can't do that no, one. No, uh, yes, it's already finished. Okay, uh, so we're doing the October one. October. So it's October the twenty first. No, it's not. <laughs> That's what the notes say. I'm going to fire the notes person. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> um, in it's, October. It's in October. It's okay. the twenty sixth. It's on the website. Yes. yes <laughs> Always check the website. Always yeah. check the it's website. much more accurate than I am. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and obviously than you two. Clearly, yes. clearly. That's what yeah. happened. How many people can uh, can get on the tour? We take small groups, mm. so we prefer to stop at about twelve. Brilliant. Mm. Well, great size. Yeah, it's a really yeah, nice size. Okay. Lots of fun. Yep. As we said, lots of other tours that Slow Tours um, are offering as well. So uh, places like Flinders Ranges, Air Peninsula, Murray River, check them out. Slowtours.com.au is the place that you need to go um, to find out the best information and the most recent information <laughs> from, what, <laughs> from what we've learnt today. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but uh, Carol, thank you very much for, for coming in thank and joining you. us at Cheers SA. Um, been another great show, another great opportunity to explore South Australia, try some South Australian produce um, while we're in these uh, interesting times. But why not take the opportunity to, to do exactly that mm. and uh, and support local? So yeah. thanks very much. And without further ado, I think there's only one thing left to say. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, SA. Thank you. <laughs>